I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, the exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh... Next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. And you did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Hey. Come on, guys, we all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh. Gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right. Sorry. Uh, uh sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah, uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. 
I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, uh, buddy, you're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell you, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it, too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person, but sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic house over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business!
is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Jesse, I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. This was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. Uh, I'm sorry, but I've got a friend waiting for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Well, um, tell them hi-hi for me. pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah, he was my best friend. Still miss him. Aw. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah, talk about knowledgeable casting. Oh, sorry, I just really don't have a lot of time. It's true, very busy schedule today. Okay, okay, uh, that's fine, I understand. I'll see you around. Sugar, nice. Jesse! Oh, hey, hey, look who it is. Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're gonna be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? just conflicted because I like all of them. Wood's a classic choice. Let's go with that. Nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! 
Woohoo! <laughs> Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! Huh. Just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? How'd you even get up there? That's, like, really high. No, oh, getting up wasn't the hard part. Getting down was. <laughs> Uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. Just stop worrying so much, would you? Stop. Stop worrying. I can do that. It's so simple. Just stop worrying. Am I oversimplifying it? I'll, I'll work on it. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra, where are you? No, oh, stupid zombie. Oh, I missed this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. my steps yet. Well, you sure showed me. I'll say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But 
Uh, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is. It's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! Hey, it's Jesse! What's up? Good to see ya. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Hey, I was gonna eat that! Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Ha! Woo! All right, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. A 
llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Oh, okay, you big, ugly llama thing. Just hold still so we can get this over with. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, 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 I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Get away! Just grab the... Oh, gross! Come on, let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. I'm the... Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and, like, town running. <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Typical. <laughs>